What's up guys, in this video we're taking a brief intermission from all that heavy combat stuff to take a look at loot. It's pretty boring, but hang in there with me. Just kidding, loot is super hardcore. Seriously, it's the one thing I always underestimate. Loot? No way. Give me those training points. But trust me, loot can be a good time as well. Alright, enough funny business. While spending time in Daylor, you will inevitably come across rewards. On the encounter cards, there is a list of rewards at the bottom. The treasure chests indicate you gain loot for your efforts. If you come across any purple loot signs, you gain a trove loot. Normal loot are the yellow cards with the unlock symbol on the front. These are available for use as soon as you attain them. Trove loot, however, are more rare, and you must make your way through a series of three locks in order to make use of them. In order to unlock these trove loot, you will lockpick, which will be shown later in the video. Let's start with some basics. Tantrum here has 4 loot in his loot area. 4 loot is the maximum amount of loot available to each gear lock. Some cards like this Ogod Herb loot card have multiple uses. This card has 3 uses. If Tantrum decides to use the herb once, then the card will be rotated until the 2 is the side up. If he were to use it once more, the card would be rotated all the way to the side to show that it only has 1 use left. Once the card has been totally expired, the card is discarded. Some loot types are permanent, like this Raider Armor. This means that it does not get discarded when used. This card in particular has another attribute, which is heavy. Any heavy loot card counts as three loot cards. There are also some cards that act as backup plan extensions. Flash Arrows acts as a two bones backup plan, and if used, it counts as the backup plan for that turn. Alright, now let's move on to lockpicking. During the recovery phase, each gear lock has the ability to try their hand at lockpicking. They only have one lockpicking attempt per day. Let's try to unlock this trove loot. We're going to do an example and hope you understand. This trove requires 3 lever, 2 trip, and 2 force. The first lock we need to unlock is the 3 lever, so let's do that. First, we will roll the 3 action dice and the intuition die. We rolled 3 lever, 3 force, and 2 lever. We need to attain a level of 3 lever to unlock our first lock, but we want to use the best die for the job as well. We will use the brown die, which is also the lever die. It has the greatest odds of rolling lever. We rolled 2 lever, so we need to use the intuition die as well. The intuition die rolled save plus 1, which allows us to use the die in our next roll and also adds 1 to the die. We have achieved 3 lever and the first lock is unlocked. Funny thing about those bulbs on the side of the character mat is that they are actually meant for keeping track of how many locks you've unlocked. I used to just put dice on top of the card. Next we need 2 trip. We haven't lost any die yet since we used the intuition die to save the first die used. Let's roll all 4 again. And look at that, we rolled 2 trip with the yellow trip die, how coincidental. The intuition die rolled a reroll action, but we won't be using it. Since we are using the yellow trip die to unlock the second lock without a save from the intuition die, we will have to put it to the side. We will move the trove loot card up to show that the first two locks have been unlocked. On to the third lock, which is the force lock, and we need a force of three. The three remaining dice will be rolled. And we have rolled three lock and three trip, but no force. Well, looks like we have to give up. But wait, we can use the intuition die. This symbol is the convert symbol, so we can convert one of the action die into any type we want. So bam, 3 trip into 3 force and we have unlocked a new goodie. Alright, two more little things about trove loot, then I'll let you go. 1. Locks you open will stay open for future attempts. And 2. If you fail to open the starting lock, the lever lock, you are able to make a second attempt immediately. And guys, that's it for loot, we will see you in the next video.